I just witnessed a great and brutal cruiserweight fight between Dmitry Kudryashov, a.k.a. the Russian Hammer, who was unbeaten going into the fight, and Ola Duradola, who is a Nigerian cruiserweight contender. The fight only lasted two rounds, but it was great while it lasted. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Kudryashov, a lot of people were touting him as the cruiserweight version of Sergei Kovalev. He was 18-0 going into the fight with 18 knockouts. This guy was knocking people unconscious left, right, and center. 100% KO ratio, you know, knocking people out cold. Had a ferocious appearance. The guy looked like a, a, a Viking or a barbarian or something with this beard and all that. A menacing presence. And it looked as though early on he was going to do to Duradola what, he do, what he'd done to 18 previous victims. And that was just walked straight through him. And he attempted to do it. He did rock Duradola badly with a left hook. But Duradola is obviously made of sterner stuff than some of the other guys could rehash off his fault. And he hung tough and started firing back. And this was a classic case of an on-top fighter, a guy who is used to being on top and he's, he relies on his power psychologically. When a guy hits as hard as Kudryashov, he develops this type of arrogance whereby he goes into the ring thinking his power is going to solve all his problems and he won't ever be under pressure or have to rely on his defense. And it all backfired because he was in there with a guy in Duradola who absorbed everything Kudryashov had to throw at him in two rounds and Kudryashov was blatantly trying to get him out of there as quickly as possible. He wasn't trying to pace himself or anything like that. And in the second round, Duradola came back very strongly, started landing on Kudryashov and Kudryashov was just totally clueless. He had no idea what to do. He certainly didn't quit. He took there and he stood there and took his licks like a man, but he had no idea what to do defensively. He, he didn't try and grab Duradola when Duradola hurt him. He didn't try and move around. He just was like a sitting duck <laughs> absorbing punches. He didn't try to take a knee or anything. He just never been in a position where he was under pressure like that before. He never even probably imagined he'd be in a position where he'd be under that kind of pressure and under that type of attack because he believes in his power so much and he has that arrogance of relying on his punching power. And this is something that I've seen so many times over the years with these destructive punches. And here we have it happen to Kudry Ashoff. If you get a chance to watch the fight, I urge you to see it because it is a great cruiserweight fight while it lasts. And by the way, some people are going to say, there's always nitpickers <laughs> in the comment section. Some people are going to say, how could you say he was the cruiserweight Kovalev? He's nowhere near as good as Kovalev. I didn't say he was a cruiserweight Kovalev. I said there, there are people touting him as the cruiserweight Kovalev. Not me, other people were touting him as the cruiserweight Kovalev. And maybe he will be, we'll see. <laughs> if he can come back, he certainly can punch. The guy's six, two and a half, so he's obviously much bigger than Kovalev. He's 30 years old. I believe he was a good amateur, so I'm sure he can come back again, but he's going to have to learn that his power is not just going to be the only thing that he needs in this professional game. You need a lot more versatility than that. There are going to be people who'll be able to take your power and fire back. Then what? You're going to have to show defense. You're going to have to show some guile and some savvy. You will not be able to rely on your power all the time. You've got to learn all aspects of the game and be prepared for no matter whatever comes at you. So, yeah, those of you who ain't see it, seen it, go watch it. As for Duradola, the Nigel Warrior, he showed tremendous heart. He was in great shape. He believed in himself. He didn't lose any confidence or anything after the bit of a beating he took in the first round. And he came back. This is a guy who lost to uh, Thabiso Machunu last year. For those of you who don't remember, Machunu is the guy that beat Eddie Chambers when Eddie Chambers was down at Cruiserway. Little short Southpaw, stocky Southpaw guy from South Africa. So he lost to uh, Machunu last year, but he's bounced back this year with a big upset over uh, uh, Kudryashov. So props to him. The cruiserweight division is interesting. It really is interesting. So 
Let me know how you feel, people. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out. <laughs>